Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Train Tutorial. I'm your trainer Kazi and in this intermediate Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert or how to open CSV file into Microsoft Excel. There are several ways to open a comma separated file or CSV file. The first one is to click on the file, right click and click on edit. It will open your CSV file into notepad. You can also open by right click, open with and then notepad. And we are going to open CSV file into Excel. So the easiest way is to double click on the file, but it is not the best way. So if you double click on this file, it will open just fine and your columns will be automatically placed but there might be some formatting issues if i scroll right and if i scroll down and here you can see this is the value but here it has been converted so if you open a csv file directly to microsoft excel it will have some formatting issues also if you have dates that might not work properly in excel if you do not open csv file in proper way okay in this tutorial i'm going to show you the proper way to convert a csv file into microsoft excel for that close everything first open microsoft excel and create a blank workbook now click on data tab and click on get external data and from here you will select from text and now browse and select your preferred csv file i have this csv file here and i'm going to click on import now i will get a pop-up here and the first option i have to select here is delimited it's already selected and if it's not then you'll have to select it and the second option is my data has headers if your data has header you can check mark here and then click on next csv file is comma separated file so we must check mark the comma we can uncheck the tab here from here data preview you can check if all your csv file columns are placed properly okay so this will make your csv file to open in excel with columns automatically placed okay so you can preview it and make sure it's working fine if everything is working fine you will have to click on next now this is the crucial part from here you can select the proper formatting for each of your column okay usually all the columns will be in general format but remember general format converts numeric value to numbers okay so if you keep it in general it will convert your numeric values to number format and we don't want it so we will have to format each column based on our data all i want here is to convert these two columns to text format okay if you click on a column it will be selected and then click on text click on this column also and click on text now if you have a date column you select date and from here you will select the date formatting if you don't do that your date will not work properly and suppose you don't want this column to be imported on your excel file select that column and from here you can select do not import column or skip if you check mark this this column will be skipped it will not be imported into excel so i don't want to skip it i'm going to click on general and from here you can also select the decimal separator and thousand separator if you want okay once you have formatted all your columns click on finish now it will ask where you want your data to be placed you can select a cell of your existing worksheet or you can click on new worksheet this will create a new worksheet and place your data there but i don't want to create a new worksheet so i am selecting cell a1 of our existing worksheet and then i'm going to click on ok and you can see our csv data has been converted into excel and here if i scroll down none of our value is converted okay now if i select any of this cell and go to home tab and you can see this column has been formatted as text and if i click here it's also converted as text this is what we selected while we import our csv file so this is the best and the safest way to convert a csv file to microsoft excel this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe thank you thanks for watching